Okay, See, now we're parts, we're kidding. recording. <laughs> okay. Well, I bought this from uh, Niall Anderson about 30, 35 years ago. And uh, he was a great gun dealer and uh, dealt in other things too. Um, he was a World War II vet. He died a few years ago in his 90s. Uh, was probably the dean of all collectors in Utah. He was very well known. Uh, he ran the um, Beehive Collectors Gallery on 3rd South and about 350 East in Salt Lake for years in an old house. Uh, marvelous man. I first met him uh, when his store was down where, the, where they built the, the uh, Salt Palace in the 50s. Mm. It was in 58 when I first met him. So that's been a long time. And um, anyway, he had uh, great stuff. He documented everything as closely as he could. Uh, in a lot of different fields, kind of like my store. He, my store is partly patterned after his because uh, he had all kinds of stuff. But he had Brigham Young scrapbook at one time, and I bought that from him. It had the Brigham's handwriting and other things, and I still got it. Um, church needs to actually needs to. Uh, and this is digitize that. So he's very authenticated yeah, and verified he was very, that very this. Very good on everything, and, and he this said is... this was found at Browns Park. Uh, for Butch Cassidy. Oh, it was Butch Cassidy's. Uh, it was found at Browns Park. Um, and uh, the gun was, I can't, I don't know about the holster, but the, the holster came with it. And the story was that it, that it was Butch's gun and holster. Um, and, uh, but he told me that the gun for sure came from, from Butch. It was found at uh, Browns, Park, Browns Park. It came from uh, Annie Bassett, uh, who was uh, given it and was uh, one of Butch's outlaw girlfriends that was there in that area. And uh, uh, he even gave me a little letter on it at the time, which I have buried somewhere. <clears throat> so that's the story basically on it. That's an interesting story. It's the only uh, gun of Butch's that I've seen. I've heard there are a couple others in big collections, but I haven't ever seen them, just pictures. So whether whether it was his or not, you know, I mean, I, I think uh, that's a, probably about as good documentation as I ever get on a gun, but because it's an object, it's an artifact. Um, and there were witnesses. Yeah, and, it's a and there's more paper. Difficult to, and there, but there's paperwork with it. Is that correct? Yeah, I did get paperwork with it from from him, uh, and all that he knew. And of course, he 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 went back many years. So um, he went back to World War II era, but that's still you know a lot of years after Bush. So mm -hmm. so we're uh, but there were still people living at the time. Good. So uh, so that's where the story comes, and, and I don't you know if you'll find anything. It's been handled by everybody, so because you know, I've taken that to, I had to have the Fourth of July thing. You know, people wanted to handle it, so I pulled it out. So mm -hmm. I this is <laughs> this is not real helpful for you, I don't think. But that's so what? Uh, so the Sus story on it. This is Susanna Ryan, and, and yeah. you're the, our DNA expert. What what is the procedure? This is just maybe a lesson on collecting DNA from. Uh, mm. An antique. I did not have you in mind when I got this, so I'm sorry. No, no, no. Um, so, you know, I, I'm gonna collect this as, as separate objects. So, you know, the gun as one or you know, one or two swaps. It, it, typically, I know, don't think this should mess up what mm -hmm. the letters. You know, I think mm -hmm. those are far more mm -hmm. accurate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we'll probably swab handle and trigger as one. I, I don't know, I gotta take a look at it. But usually the rougher surfaces are the areas where the DNA would tend to collect more awesome. and there'd be more DNA. Mm -hmm. um, Could you clarify what rougher areas are? Uh, what does that so, mean? So, you know, in this case, the even though probably, the, right no, so the metal, if there's any like um, grooves or divots oh. or even here, even though this is wood surface, yeah. there the, the potential exists that there would be like collected in, in these areas. Now, typically when we look at guns today, the grip is going to be um, kind of like checkered, and so where it's, yeah. where it's um, the DNA te does tend to collect there better because it's a rougher surface. Mm -hmm. There's grooves, sure. there's areas for the DNA to, re sense. to be retained. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what would, just guess, mm -hmm. just to guess, where would you feel there might be some grooves or good place for collecting? Um, I mean, I'm going to do the handle and any of these, like where the handle, where the wooden part meets mm -hmm. the, um, metal portion kind of in, inside of that groove as much as possible. Um, 
Maybe where you put the bullets in? Is that yeah, going to be? on the inside of the chamber. Inside of the chamber, is that possible? Or, maybe. I mean, you can maybe. swab, but I'm not sure how 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 much contact that would be, or if the bullet would just go in, or if the... I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Well, um, they'd be pushing on the back end of the bullet. So maybe the back, when this is, when this is out, the, the back part of that, mm -hmm. that might be an mm -hmm. area that hasn't been handled by as many people. Yeah. It's all. It's just a guess, but you're doing your best guess. That's the idea. Pretty much. Um, and I'm wondering with the with this, do you, are you okay with uh, a couple of drops of water on the swab? Or yeah, are you, no, okay. that's fine. Right. Since so it's think, metal, since it's metal, right? Yeah. And I think that that's going to give us a better chance of, okay. of collecting anything. I just don't want this to mix up with those others because I can't. Absolutely. You know, all this is. As well as it's documented, it's still just documented from hearsay. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know? mm -hmm. So it's not like a crime scene gun or anything like that. Right. right. No, I understand. Okay. And have you done crime scene guns before? Oh, yeah. How yeah. fun. Sure. <laughs> I'm an expert at it. Yeah. Now, one thing I didn't get here, Marilyn, was pictures. I didn't take pictures.